India's eastern state of Odisha is currently grappling with the biggest railway disaster seen by the country in over 28 years. The aftermath of the tragedy, which left over 275 dead and hundreds more injured, has raised serious questions on whether the existing infrastructure can seamlessly handle high-speed trains. In 2022, as part of an overall upheaval of India's railway network, a new automatic train protection or ATP system was indigenously developed in India by India's Research Design and Standards Organization. The Railway Ministry launched this new technology on the 23rd of March last year and christened it with the name Kavach, which essentially means armor. Kavach has a range of high-tech features that include automatic brake application if human controls fail, real-time updates on train movement, automatic whistling signals at movable barriers, and direct communication between train drivers to avoid collision, along with SOS control over trains in the vicinity during mishap and line-side signals during foggy weather conditions. The coverage is an automatic train protection technology. What happens in it? There are two trains. If two trains are on the same track, if there is a mistake, then the coverage is coming from the past, and the coverage is going to stop it. And it will stop it, so it will not be an accident. But so far, this comprehensive communication system of radio frequency devices has only been implemented on a very small section of the existing railway network in India. Kavach is currently active on a meager 1200 kilometer stretch of the South Central Railway Corridor. At the moment, only three rail routes across the states of Karnataka, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh and Maharashtra have the upgraded ATP system. According to reports, over 1,900 miles of primary rail routes in north and east of India will implement the safety system only after railway lines are upgraded to host high-speed trains. This has raised concerns on whether the infrastructure is even ready to handle the burden of bullet trains. Ten years into development and over a year since the in-house device was successfully tested, questions now loom over why the northern and eastern railway corridors of India are yet to implement Kavach as a safety system, which could have averted Odisha's devastating train tragedy. For the latest update, we are joined by Rakesh Chopra, who is a member of, or former member of the Indian Railway Board. Welcome to the broadcast, sir. How are you? Absolutely fine. So the northern and eastern railway corridors of India are yet to implement coverage as a safety system. Now the question is what is taking so long and by when can one expect it to be implemented? Uh, see the coverage system really got the funds last year. And in the first year they had taken up some parts in the southern area, Maharashtra and southern area, which you just mentioned. They have done about 1200 or I think what I am told is about 2000 kilometers. Irrespective of that. Uh, the first phase that is going to be it is going to be implemented upon is the quadrilateral. Quadrilateral is uh, uh, east, uh, east, north, south, west, uh, west to east again, and that is the most important. And the uh, section and the quadrilateral is one of those sections which is the heaviest operation operated sections. Now this takes time because you know it's easy to say that this technology was uh, you know found out in 2011. As a matter of fact, it was even earlier than that. I know of the person who invented this technology. And when he took it out, as a matter of fact, let me tell you something about the history. When he created this technology, it was rejected by the Indian railways. It is a sad commentary on that. And years later, and uh, years later, it has now been improved. Some uh, aspects have also been incorporated by importing some technologies, some concepts, and things like that. I don't know what the minister has shown on uh, his uh, presentations about the coverage part of it. But a very important point that you raised was that this accident could have been averted with coverage. My thinking is no, coverage would not have helped in this. This accident is not a one which could have ever been averted by coverage. This is an accident based entirely on the signal system failure, signal system failure. Now, whether it was manual, or it happened because of a glitch in the technology or the PCBs that are attached there, that is what the investigation is going to prove. But the fact still is that coverage is not meant for such like accidents. Coverage is meant for collisions on a moving, you know, two trains moving on the same track or uh, the factors which you pointed out yourself in your uh, opening talk. 
this particular uh, the failure that has taken place here is is very different it it is something to do with the electronics of the motor which ships the train from one track to the other somewhere in the connectivity there there has been a short circuit or there is somebody has manipulated by mistake or uh, something has happened to some of the electronic circuitries in between which has shifted this even after the driver was shown the green signal the very fact that he was proceeding at the full speed indicates that he saw the green signal now incidentally let me tell you in railways what happens in the operation of the trains the each uh, engine has two a co driver and a main driver and it is a rule there that from a distance you know from a distance and these people have got fantastic eyesight from a kilometer and a half or 2 kilometers they are able to sight the signal the moment they sight a signal as green the co driver says right and then the driver sights independently he says right he is confirming that i have seen the signal as green and that allows him to go at a high speed sometimes the signals are put at a yellow uh, color also the yellow color means that you have to slow down your speed and go so all this happened in this particular accident that is why the train was moving at a full speed all of a sudden when it approached the station all of a sudden that engine took a turn and went on to the loop now that is the fact which requires to be investigated that is what is under investigation it may be a technical complication a glitch or somebody which normally you know no human being is able to go and touch it uh, touch with these systems they are locked they are put into a room and they are locked actually both by the station manager as well as the inspector there so that is what is now going to be found out how did this happen was it a glitch or was it some manual fault so actually you've also answered what i was going to ask you next whether kawach is was even capable of stopping this kind of a disaster from happening and as you've said kavach was it was not going to play any role even if it was implemented so i also wanted to ask you to comment on you know what's the competency level of kavach and what can it avoid and what can it not and in the case of the current uh, disaster which has happened what could have avoided this See, first let me take up the kavach bit kavach has been uh, you know the all these systems for signaling they are only approved and implemented after they have been cleared by the international standards higher standards that is standard for the coverage has been cleared for which means that this is number one a fail safe system the moment we say fail safe that if any of these systems fail they fail towards the safer side and that is so with our signaling also in the indian railways if there is a failure it would be on the safer side so this is what uh, the in the covered system this is what uh, really is there the second part uh, sorry what was the second part of the question what could have averted this kind of a disaster from happening as you say that coverage could not have done it see okay you know uh, in the stories we read we read that there's been a fateful night i'm telling you this was a fateful night i don't think anything would have avoided this world over there are no systems you see the accident in greece that happened only recently yes. i think it's about few months back right and people talk of it that the driver was asked to proceed against the red signal so they also had this latest systems so you know what i'm saying is that there are some things that happened by fate this is a technological very very advanced technology which has been used here it has been tested it is fail safe and still something has gone wrong i'm not saying that then it could not have been manipulated i'm not saying that but that manipulation would must have been on account of some failure which was noticed because why i'm telling you this word manipulation is because you know there has been talk of vague talk of sabotage i would i am firmly of the view that we must first rule out anything and everything before leading on to sabotage and then investigating it because let's not put sabotage as the main cause here Thank you for those valuable inputs sir you've definitely shown a lot of light onto what could have happened and what coverage is not capable of doing and what it is thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast that was Rakesh Chopra who is a former member of the Indian Railway Board joining us from New Delhi thank you